a lot of us work really hard for the money that we earn and unfortunately no matter how much we work we usually find ourselves in a situation where we don't have as much money as we would like to put towards recreational firearms or even self-defense firearms. So this is kind of an introduction to a firearm that I'm going to talk about in a few videos here in the future um, in regards to hunting, self-defense, and recreational use. And that firearm is the High Point 4095 TS. You can see it right here on the bottom. And this gun is really inexpensive and I think it is one of the best values out there for uh, in regards to just an inexpensive uh, carbine. Chambered in 40 caliber, it's an inexpensive round to shoot. There is, uh, it's set up to where you can put a lot of different aftermarket offerings on it. And a lot of people, if you go and search on Google, um, go to the Google image search, just type in High Point 4095 or customized High Point 4095. Look at all the images that pop up and you can see a lot of different configurations. It's kind of interesting. It's almost like seeing uh, pictures of different AR-15s. Um, so I encourage you guys to just look at that if you want to and you kind of see the different ways that people take this gun. But uh, I like the value that it brings. I like the capability that it brings. And I think for under $300, $350, you're not going to do better. So that's kind of what I want to focus on it. I picked the 40 caliber because I think it's kind of the best as far as capacity versus power goes. I know 9mm made leaps and bounds as far as uh, catching up to the 40 in recent years. So I'm not dissing the 9mm at all. I like 9mm. But I think the 40, uh, especially out of a 16 inch barrel, I like the performance that uh, you're getting out of the 40 cal. And this has the same capacity as the 9mm as far as the carbine is concerned. They're both 10 round guns. The 45, uh, it's a great round, but you do lose one round of capacity. You go down to nine rounds with the 45 carbine. But in any case, it's just kind of an intro video. Um, I'm going to be doing some videos on this in the future, maybe doing some longer range shooting, just to show the capability of this neat little gun. Uh, I think it's overlooked a lot, and I think you should give it a try if you're just looking for an inexpensive gun to shoot. And, you know, poor people deserve home protection, too. So this is an excellent, uh, like my little tan there. This is an excellent choice for home protection. Easy to use, low recoil. You definitely get the performance out of the 40 caliber. Uh, the only reason I have the AR-15 up here in this video is just kind of showing the size. I just, I, I wanted something to represent the size really well. I didn't want to just throw out a tape measure or something. So I figured, hey, I'll throw a full size 20 inch air 15 up there and it kind of gives you a good size comparison but in any case this is just an intro video i look to do a lot of stuff with this gun i haven't given the carbines enough attention like i wanted to i really gave the handguns the attention and uh, it's kind of beating a dead horse you can only make so many videos about the high point handguns so in any case there it is uh, more videos to come and feel free to leave your thoughts below as far as whether you're going to be interested in seeing it or if it's just kind of a meh type thing um if you have any ideas and if you got any experiences with this particular gun then feel free to chime in as always thanks a lot for watching and keep it safe and i uh, look forward to making some more stuff uh, some more videos with this